And then once you have that full set of mandibular teeth, you're going to start moving them uh, using the transform tools by moving them uh, right to where they're supposed to go. And you're going to look at it uh, from all different angles, uh, from the frontal, from the side, and from the occlusal. And you're just going to use those transform tools and just kind of, in general, get the arch set up uh, to how the patient's arch is. Once you get to a point where everything's pretty close, you can then uh, keep those STL files of the individual teeth all as one, but you can start to move the teeth without actually separating them. And the way you do this is you can uh, use the select tool to click on the teeth that you want to move. After you do that, you can use the uh, expand a connected tool, which a shortcut for that is E on the keyboard. And then after that, if you type T on the keyboard for transform, it's going to allow you to move just those teeth that have turned orange. So as you can see, you can start to move just the teeth that are selected and the other ones stay in the same place. And then once you get them where you want them to be, you can accept that and then start to uh, look at the occlusion. You know, right here we've turn back on the patient's maxillary arch and we can uh, start to look around and see how the teeth are aligning. You can turn off the mandibular teeth so that they're not getting in the way and you can start to see that you know maybe the teeth need to come more lingual. Uh, if you look here in the uh, in the distal, uh, the teeth that came already set uh, included the second molars but since this patient doesn't have any maxillary second molars, we're just going to delete those. So you've done the same thing. You use your select tool to uh, click on each of those teeth, hit E on the keyboard for expand to connected. And this time, uh, then you can either hit uh, X or delete on the keyboard or just to choose to discard. And then once those are gone, you can spend some time just refining. Okay, just going through and, and, and getting uh, the teeth set in a more appropriate position. Okay, and once you get them where you want them to be, uh, essentially now where we're at is we know where we're planning the teeth to be in the final prosthesis or in this uh, in this interim prosthesis. So we're going to export those teeth as one single STL file. Uh, they are still connected because we never actually separated them. So we can go in and export these. Um, right here, we're just going to name them MD and in parentheses teeth. And then when you go back over into Blue Sky, then you, we can say we want to import uh, STL models, choose those teeth from uh, the folder. And when you bring them in, it always again defaults to this screen right here. You just want to hit cancel. And it used to be that you had to you had to use this uh, direct alignment and then hit align. But nowadays, as long as you've taken it out of Blue Sky Plan, it maintains that X, Y, Z. And when you bring it back in uh, and you hit cancel, by default, it's going to go direct. So actually, it'll come back already aligned. If it doesn't, you can just uh, use that uh, direct radio button and then hit align. And it'll go right to place. Uh, and then you're good to go. 